hello friends welcome back to my channel myself monica and i'm back today with a new video where okay so i will be talking about um the bones uh, of upper limb so i'm starting here today with clavicle so i don't have any kind of bone right now but i i don't think that for clavicle you need to have a bone because this is one of the easiest uh, topic and uh, it's just bone to study so just having a bone and learning about his atta attachment and nerve supply is not enough you must you must also mug up what are the things attached there you know there are so many things attached to these bones and we don't know if we then like to forget it and uh, you know it just feels like what what is what was the use of learning so much so the first thing that i would like to suggest to you today is if possible then please first of all you know you can go to these videos in a youtube where phones are taken and you have been taught over there you go to those videos and every every moment and go to these videos every time and study from there uh, it will help you to memorize uh, the parts and uh, um, it will make your concept clear today i'm here with few mnemonics to understand this parts attachment and important questions that comes from the clavicle okay so i have just taken my notes from bd joyasia book i will also be showing you pictures from that book so now let's get started at first what clavicle clavicle is a long bone we should know that clavicle is a long bone and it transmits the weight of the limb to the sternum it has soft and two ends so this is the very basic that i'm teaching you about the clavicle that you should know okay it is a long bone transmit weight of the limb to the sternum and it has soft and two ends now if you have called it a long bones you might your teacher might ask how it became a long bone and you can tell it no because it has a soft and two ends because of this region it is a long bone because it has a soft and a two ends it is a long bone now <clears throat> A very important one is the side determination of the uh, clavicle. I don't have a bone right now, but I can give you a concept about side determination. Side determination at first means whether the bone you are taking uh, with uh, how to yeah, what is the position of that bone in our body, how it is it is uh, kept there, how it, it is there, okay, and how to differentiate between upper part lower part medial uh, and medial lateral anterior posterior how it is arranged how it is the okay so for the side determination let me first go with the anterior and posterior part that means upper and low i'm sorry upper and the lower part okay, upper part of if this is a clavicle and if this is this upper part okay where it is written as a wing chest if this is the upper part then its lower part is this isn't it so in clavicle if you take this bone and if you see a smooth surface with no any ridges no any tubercles it is very smooth and that is the upper part of the clavicle whereas if there are ridges there are uh, groups or there are impressions there are tubercles then that is the low part of the clavicle which you can see here in this book of Pujicharas, yeah. See, this is the upper part, which is so clear. There is nothing over here, no group, no any tubercle, nothing. This is the upper part, which is smooth. Okay, where is this lower part? See, there's tubercles, there's subclavian group, there is inter-impression of costal uh, clavicular ligament. <clears throat> so uh, this is the way we can differentiate between the upper part of the bone and lower part now the thing is to differentiate whether the uh, it is an uh, anterior or lateral which one is lateral and which one is the anterior okay, uh, medial okay so medial end is quadrangular in shape so we know what is quadrangular like like this you know it is quadrangular in shape so this is the medial part whereas flat okay flat and um, you know flat or uh, conical kind it is the lateral end okay it is a flat and if it is conical like then it is the uh, lateral end so this way you can differentiate medial and the lateral end okay if you see an egg if you see so you can go here okay if you see a flat part 
then you have to understand it is the lateral end but if you see a quadrangular part you know it is a little bit circular and then it's quadrangular then it is the medial part upper surface lower surface now the very important part okay again to differentiate between whether it is <coughs> whether uh, okay it is uh, lateral or medial so lateral side is it, it is always um <coughs> So lateral side, lateral one third is concave forward, whereas medial two third is convex. So it is convex. Okay, it is concave, concave, cave like, concave, convex, concave, convex. So if this is, if you see a, uh, this side of the bone with this part, then you have to say that it is lateral part. It is lateral one third. So will be concave forward and the medial two thirds will be convex forward so um, most of the students what the mistake that they do is they got con they get confused in anterior and posterior part so you have to always understand that lateral part which is flat that should be always concave forward okay concave forward and the medial part which is quadrangular should always be convex forward like this like this 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 will be the uh, uh clavicle okay this is the concept now peculiarities which is the most important part and where uh, this is the most asked question in viva also you know this is the very important thing uh, from the um, bone clavicle which are its peculiarities so i have made a mnemonic for it that is mom's tips so peculiarities of clavicle so mom's tips so for mom tips here you can see here this m m means membrane ossification okay so it undergoes membrane ossification so there are various kind of ossification which we have already read in our general anatomy so among that this is the bone which only undergoes this is the long bone which undergoes the membrane ossification oh this is the first bone to ossify in the body this is the first bone to ossify in the body Again, M, there is no medullary cavity. Actually, in long bones, there should be the presence of medullary cavity, but there is no medullary cavity in this bone. S, subcutaneous throughout. It is subcutaneous throughout, means you can touch it. No, this is very uh, easily, uh, we can toss this and analyze this. So, it's just below this cutaneous layer. Okay, because of it, it is known as subcutaneous. T, 2, P, primary center usually in bones there is one primary center one secondary center but it has got two primary center s means medial subscapular knob so this is the peculiarity of clavicle the one important it is it is only the one important point that is left it is only the bone which lies horizontal so i think you can just tell it by you know observing the bone scap um, clavicle in your body it is horizontal so one very common point that one very you know like easily um, memorizable point is that it is very it is horizontal and others are mom's tip just understand it and then go and then you'll get m for membrane ossification o for first to ossify m for no medullary cavity s for subcutaneous throughout t for two p for primary center and s for medial supraclavicular nerve this is the um uh mnemonic for the peculiarities of clavicle which is one of the very important question now so the next one that we have to study okay is the attachments okay so for the attachments so for the attachments i have made the name agarico dp change gar agarico dp change gar means change your dp the front one so or uh, uh, leko sorry or uh, leko means uh, present to change your present dp okay so that uh, can be facebook dp or whatever it is so or uh, leko dp change gar uh, okay or uh, uh, leko dp change gar or uh, leko i want to say that agarico you know a for agarico means uh, the anterior one okay the anterior one dp means deltoid pectoralis major and the capsule of stenoclavicular joint dp d stands for deltoid p 
P stands for pectoralis major and C chains stands for capsule of sternoclavicular joint where C chain C stands for capsule of sternoclavicular joint. So why have made name only just for these three muscles is that you know we get confused in examination all with so many muscles named to mock up and to you know to, to reduce the um, uh, chances of confusion in the muscles name in anterior and posterior part i have made a mnemonic that ahileko or agadiko dp chains or agadiko means obviously is front one so dp then you always will remember no deltoid and the uh, pectoralis major and chains means capsule of the sternoclavicular ligament okay now in posterior part if you get very strepitous and there is a sternocleidomastoid muscle Okay, now if you get about, uh, you know, like locating trepidures and sternocleidomastoid, then you can see here, there is this, uh, like, you know, tapu means like a mountain, you know, a little bit um hill, hilly area. So there is this hill, there is this hill kind of thing, which you can say as trepidures, trepidures, tapu, like, you know, so this is, I have named it as trepidures. So if, whenever in the clavicle, if I see, um, in the posterior part, uh, there is this, uh, you know, it's like a slopey, a hilly area, then I will name it as trepidures, whereas this uh, deep area, I will name as sternocleidomastoid. So in this way, I have learned about the, the uh, okay, upper surface, most attachment in the upper surface of the clavicle. In the lower surface, okay, everything is same. Just you have to turn the bone and the one which has the lateral concave part okay lateral concave part has obviously dealt with pectoralis major but the convex part if lateral also this convex part has got trapezius same like that the diff only the thing that you have to remind is subclavius this subclavius we have already talked there is subclavian group you can see here there is subclavian group Okay, there is soft clavian group. Obviously, in soft clavian group, there will be the attachment of soft clavian muscles. The tubercle, there is the conoid tubercle. There is trapezoid ridge. So, obviously, you know, trapezoid ridge, conoid tubercle, and soft clavian group. And impression of the clostoclavicular ligament. These are very important markings that just you have to remember. And you will clearly see whenever you will take the bone. You will clearly see this soft clavian group. You will clearly see this conoid tubercle. Maybe trapezoid ridge might not be that visible to you. Then you can estimate it. At the, only the thing that is very close to this conoid tubercle that you can name it as trapezoid ridge. And then here this impression uh, in the medial part. You can name as the impression of clostoclavicular ligament. So obviously... Uh, subclavicular group, subclavicular muscle, and <clears throat> in the very medial end, in the very medial end near to the costoclavicular ligament, there is sternohyoid uh, muscle. Okay, so this is the way how you can remember about the <clears throat> attachment of clavicle. So just um, create an idea, create a concept, and you will be able to learn it. So <clears throat> then, the other thing that you should know is that. Uh, so uh, subclavian vessels and the cord of the brachial plexus parts to uh, pass towards the axilla lying between the inferior surface of clavicle and the upper surface of the first rib so you know your teacher might ask like how is the course of brachial plexus pass through this um, clavicle and from where then you can just say that from the lower surface of the clavicle to the upper surface of the first rib they pass from there okay and Cleto cranio dissociation. Uh, I'm sorry for the pronunciation. So, cleto cranial uh, dissociation means the congenital absence or imperfectly developed clavicle. So, it's a disease where clavicle is either congenitally absent or this imperfectly developed clavicle, which is known as cleto cranial dissociation. In this condition, in this condition, the soldiers uh, do and can be approximated anteriorly in front of the so chest so then soldiers they just come like this just, 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 just merge with each other you know so that's what happens here so this is all about a very important point about the clavicle i have tried to summarize everything if you think that I have anything has been missed then you can go to your video book and read from there i just wanted to give you a slight concept slight hint um i hope that i could help you uh, to certain extent if you like my channel if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel Thank you so much. Bye.